Hey everyone, it's Adam with UploadWP.com and this is the next video in our series on customizing the WooCommerce checkout page. Um, so today what I wanted to do is go more in depth on actually uh, showing you how to change um, field labels and then the placeholder that's within the uh, field. So we'll start by doing that. Uh, if you didn't view the first video, check that one out. We've, in that video we created a child theme. Um, in this uh, example, we were using the Mistyle theme, so we created a Mistyle child theme. Um, but this example on customizing the checkout field or checkout page um, would apply to any of the WooCommerce uh, themes that you're using. Um, but in this case, we just happen to be using Mistyle. So I'm going to jump right into it, and we're going to start by uh, changing uh, this order notes label and the placeholder within this field uh, to something different. All right, so if I go into the WordPress admin, and you can see that I currently have activated my child theme. Uh, here's the mistyle theme right here, the parent theme, and here's the child theme that I've created. So we know that we're good. We can edit, start editing it without worrying about losing changes when we upgrade to a new version of mistyle. All right, so if I go to appearance and editor, you'll see that the selected theme right now is uh, the child theme, and so we're on the style.css but we want to make changes uh, to the functions.php because functions.php controls the checkout page alright so we need to click on the functions.php and right here is where we're going to uh, paste in our custom uh, PHP code to uh, change the label and the placeholder on this order notes field right here so I'm going to go ahead and just copy it. I already have it copied over here uh, in Notepad. So I'm just going to go ahead and copy and I'm going to paste it in. And just kind of point some things out. Um, really what's important, uh, where you can actually change what is said, uh, is first of all this is the placeholder uh, line right here. So you'll see that if I change anything, or I changed this, it would uh, give me whatever text I wanted in this uh, overlay right here. So right now I'm just changing it to my new placeholder and then the label we're going to change to my new label. So you can see right here label my new label. So that will change order notes to my new label and then the placeholder holder will change as well. So if I go ahead and uh, update that file and then we go take a look so if I refresh this this will change so you can see now I've changed the label to my new label and I've changed the uh, placeholder to my new placeholder and again you could change that text to whatever you wanted uh, simply by uh, changing this to change the placeholder and changing what's it within the quotation here to change the actual label to whatever you wanted. So if I wanted this to say um, order comments and then I wanted the placeholder to say um, please let us know if there is something special if I could spell special, special about your order Okay, so that will be the placeholder. This will be the new label. And if we go ahead and update that file and then go take a look at it, you can see that the label has changed to order comments and our placeholder has changed as well. So that gives you control over this um, order notes field. Um, the same applies to any of these fields. If you wanted to change uh, first name, to just name uh, to whatever I don't you probably wouldn't change first name and last name but as an example if you wanted to you could do that a company name you could change the label there and then you could give it an overlay if you wanted to give it an overlay um, for any of these fields you can do that um, so that's an example of changing of how you could customize the actual labels and the um, over text overlay within the labels if you wanted to um, so next I'll show you how to actually remove this order comments field um, or any other field that you'd want to from the checkout, pro, uh, checkout page whether it's the billing address on the billing address side or the shipping address side um, 
uh, this will apply and you could use this to remove any field but we're going to remove this order comments uh, field altogether so let's go back into the admin and we're going to go uh, again we're in uh, functions.php for the child theme and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to just copy this paste it in and again I will put this out on uploadwp.com so you can copy and paste it and I'll also link to the documentation that Wook, uh, Themes has on this. Uh, they have all a list of all the different labels. Uh, so, for example, right here we have order and then order underscore comments. They have a list that shows you how to control each field. So I'll link to that as well. But in this case, the important thing here is you'll see order and then order underscore comments. So that's telling, this is telling uh, it to remove the order and order comments field all together. I'm going to go ahead and just update that and then if we go out to the site and refresh the page this should go away. Alright so now we've streamlined the checkout page even more the order comments field is gone and again that could apply we could do that for any field that we wanted to so let me just give you an example let's say we wanted to get rid of this uh, phone number field so we're going to do that the exact same way except we're just going to tweak a couple things here. Let's change this uh, to billing and we're going to change this to billing underscore phone. Alright, so now as a result of doing this that order uh, comments field should come back and the billing uh, phone number field should go away. Let's go ahead and update the file and then if I refresh the page this should be gone. So there you go the phone uh, field is gone and our order comments or order notes is back. Um, so let's say that you wanted to actually eliminate multiple things um, on the checkout page instead of just one at a time you could do that as well if I go back into functions.php for our child theme and let's see here uh, let me just copy this and paste it in so this is gonna what's gonna happen here is it's gonna remove you'll see unset fields order order comments so that's gonna remove the order comments unset fields billing and then billing underscore phone so that will get rid of the uh, phone field and then unset fields billing and then billing underscore email so that would get rid of the email field uh, not not that you'd want to get rid of the email or probably the phone field from uh, the checkout process because you, you definitely wouldn't want to get rid of the email field I'm just using this as an example so please don't take it literally as far as the fields I'm removing I'm just showing you that it can be done and how to do it alright so if I go ahead and update that file uh, the order comments box the phone number and the email field should now be gone. All right, so right now this will go away, this will go away, and the phone's already gone. So let's go ahead and refresh the page. Okay, order comments box is gone, and then email's gone, and phone's gone. All right, if we wanted to bring them back, we would simply eliminate this entire uh, line of PHP and update the file and then go back and everything should come back. There's our ordered notes, our email, and our phone. Alright, so again this would apply no, no matter what theme you're using. We're using a Mistyle child theme right now but it would work if you're using a Woo store theme and again always use a child theme when making uh, modifications to functions.php or to the style sheet. It's just a good idea or it's just a good practice to use a child theme um, no matter what theme you're using when you're making modifications. Um, so hopefully this gives you an idea uh, that it is possible to number one change labels and change the text overlay within the uh, labels. Um, it's also possible to completely remove fields from the WooCommerce checkout page. Um, and then in the next video I'm going to show you how to actually add new fields or add custom fields to your checkout page. So this is just the second video in this uh, series on customizing the checkout page. Uh, we also plan on creating videos that show you how to modify the other WooCommerce specific pages such as the cart page. 
Uh, so stay tuned for that. Thanks for taking time to watch this one. Again, my name is Adam with UploadWP.com, and we'll see you in the next video. Thank you.